Hi folks, TJ here from TJS Performance. I'm starting another project. I'm going to be building a rotary weld positioner. I bought plans online on from a person named Ryan M, who that's his YouTube username. These are his plans. He also has a site called minidozerbuild.com. You can order the plans from there. Uh, for about the price of uh, a good lunch for two people or less, you can get these plans. These plans are very thorough. They're step-by-step uh, -step how to build this positioner here. However, I'm going to build my positioner a little different. I'm going to build it so it attaches to a hitch receiver on my welding table slash bench. Um, let's go... These plans are really, really good. As I said, it gives detail how to program your controller, how to do the spindle, weld tips, and the the what kind of chuck to use. They're really, really good plans. Well worth the money. You couldn't even do this yourself for what it, what it costs and the time it would take for anybody to make a set of plans and actually get a good build out of it. So. With that said, I'm going to just show you the meat and potatoes, what I have so far, of the components I fabricated and or purchased. So here we go. So these are the bearings that I'm going to be using. I got these from surpluscenter.com. I think they're around 21 bucks each. They are for a 2 inch diameter tube. Um, and that is going to be bolted to a frame that you make according to the plans. This is the spindle assembly with the sprocket. Um, you buy the tube. It's a 2 inch tube. DOM tubing from McMaster. Uh, the spindle, you can machine it. However, I had Ryan make me one because my lathe does not have threading capability and you weld the sprocket on to both the spindle spud and the tube itself the sprocket you again get at um, surpluscenter.com I think they're like 10 bucks this screws into a lathe chuck adapter this is inch and a half eight thread that's the adapter I did purchase on eBay let me just show you the adapter the adapter does take some machining this adapter mounts to an 8 inch lathe chuck. On the back is the 1 inch, one inch and a half, 8 thread. And then we just scoot over the, uh, the chuck itself. I did get the chuck, the 8 inch, eight inch lathe chuck, for free from a buddy of mine who was just giving it away. He didn't want it. It seems to be okay. Um, I just have to drill the holes to attach it to the chuck itself. I'll do that on my bridge port. This uh, component screws in like this. If I can get it started here. And so this is what's going to be turning everything. Of course, it'll be right side up. I have about three thousandths run out here, which isn't bad. Um, I want to make sure everything is as square and less run out as possible. The sprocket does have a little more run out. It must have worked a little bit when I welded it. I TIG welded it in four places. I didn't go nuts all the way around it to try to prevent warping. As you can see, I only have one, two, three, and four places here. So those are the components that I have built so far. There's quite a few more to go. I also did cut the tubing according to the plans. Uh, but I did, as I said, I'm going to be modifying. These are the tubes that you cut according to the plans. Um, some other components. Um, this is going to be the main H-bar assembly. I'm going to be doing another video when I do weld this all together. This is the centerpiece. Um, really economical uh, way to build a weld positioner. Weld positioners online you know on ebay and stuff a decent one the usa made one they start from 1500 and go all the way to many thousands of dollars so i figure by the time i'm done with the stepper motor uh, the adorno controller 
and some other components I'll probably have around six or seven hundred bucks into this maybe right now I have I think maybe two hundred dollars into it so and um I have at least 75 or 80 percent of the components I need to build this so stay tuned and if you need to buy the plans go to minidozerbuild.com his name is Ryan he's really helpful um, I do recommend doing it this way you know there's many other builds out there on YouTube as well people built well positioners but I figured this is the best way to do it as I said I'm gonna tailor it to my needs um, on my welding table uh, I have a two inch receiver under here so I'm gonna be utilizing that as well so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and or comment on this video there'll be more to come this is part one so I think part two I'm gonna include the building of and setting up to weld the H assembly the mainframe upper frame assembly so take care folks and visit my Instagram page at TJS Performance. There's a lot more pictures and builds on this as well. Thank you.